Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, my name's Sasha J Dyston and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I've done this pumpkin Halloween makeup tutorial. So if you'd like to keep on watching, grab yourself a cup and some snacks because this is going to be a long one. The first thing that I'm doing is gluing down one eyebrow uh, so you can choose which side you prefer to glue down and I'm just using an ordinary print stick and then I'm combing it through and putting some satin powder on top to keep the glue in place and now I'm tracing out my pumpkin sketch this look is inspired by Melissa Gray MUA on Instagram. I'll leave all of her information in the description below if you want to check her out. But she's an absolute incredible makeup artist. So what I'm doing now is I'm sketching out the edge of the look. So this is like the spiky effect where it makes it look as if my face has been ripped and underneath I'm a person where on top I'm a pumpkin. Um, so that's all I'm doing there. It's just a rough sketch so you don't need to be too precise with this bit and I'm just going to be sketching out the nose and the mouth as well and um, the nose and the mouth are kind of like skeleton vibes um, so you want to do like a skeleton nose and then a torn mouth which looks like a skeleton kind of yeah but that's all I'm doing here. Now I'm using my Maybelline Superstay foundation and I'm putting it on the half where I'm going to have my normal makeup. So all I'm doing here is I'm just adding my foundation and then I'm going to go ahead with my infallible concealer from uh, L'Oreal. And I'm just adding that in the normal places and I'm also going to be dragging it on the, my eyelid as well and that's going to prep my eye for when I'm going to go in with um eyeshadow and now i'm setting everything in place i'm not doing too much to this side because i want the other side to be like absolutely standing out um and i'm using the soap and glory 2 in 1 brow tint to do my eyebrows because i couldn't find my brow pomade and now i'm going in with the james charles palette and i'm using the orange shade first i'm doing like a orange uh and black smoky eye just so that it matches the pumpkin side on the other side so i'm concentrating this in the crease and i'm just building up the color and now i'm winging it out to the edge uh, to give it that wing smoky effect and i just keep going in with the orange and building it up and now i'm going in with the yellow and i'm using the yellow to brighten it up and i'm putting that above the crease blending it into the orange i'm going so fast oh my god now i'm using the black eyeshadow you really want to be careful when you're using black eyeshadow you don't need a lot at all so i'm packing it right on the bottom of my lid and then i'm blending it into the orange and i am going to be going back in with an orange and a red i don't think that i should picking up the red um eyeshadow but i do pick up the red eyeshadow and i blend it into the black so that it all blends in together and it looks so much more seamless so there i am again going back in with the orange but i do also pick up a red but i'm pretty sure that i didn't show that bit and now i'm just going under my eye and um, blending it all together i'm pretty sure i do go back in with the black eyeshadow as well under my eye and now I'm going in with the Revolution and Roxy Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm just using this to bronze up my face. And then after this I'm going in with a mascara from the Body Shop but I can't remember the name of it. Um, but that's all I've done for that makeup side. I actually like really really like the eyeshadow that I created. I've never really done a look like this before um, eye wise and I really really like it. I think it would be a stunning glam look for halloween if you wanted to take that eye look <laughs> and now i'm going in with the yellow face paint and i'm just using this as a base on the bottom half of my chest and the reason why i'm doing this is because when i blend my orange i want different shades of orange because obviously pumpkins aren't one shade of orange so i wanted it to be quite light towards the bottom 
So that's why I added the yellow first because then that's going to lighten up the orange uh, face paint. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there and then I am eventually going to go in with the orange at some point. I'm talking a lot through this tutorial. Under the armpit, don't forget the armpits. <laughs> if you want it to be really seamless, honestly, get them armpits. Now I'm going in with the orange face paint from Snazaroo and I'm just adding the base under my neck and I'm also going to be dragging it into the yellow uh, and when you blend in you want to make sure that your face paint is really thick so you've got plenty of face paint like obviously to blend with and I am just adding the orange all over on top of the yellow and as you can see eventually it does start to get a bit lighter if I feel like I need to add some more yellow though I do I do add more yellow um, at some point so you'll see me doing that in a minute but honestly take your time when you blend in it does take a minute and it does take a lot of effort as well but if you want it to look like a gradual fade into a lighter orange this is what you need to do you could add white instead of using yellow but i prefer to use a yellow because you're still keeping that very orange tone whereas if you use white you're just going to uh, like lose it a little bit so now i'm going on my face and i'm just making sure that i go around all the outlines and i'm not going in the center of any of the outlines that we drew with our eyeliner earlier on um so yeah that's all i'm doing here i don't really need to talk through this bit too much because you can pretty much see what i'm doing so yeah i'll come back when i'm doing something a bit different I'm going in with my red Snazaru face paint and I'm keeping this in the center of my face and I'm going around all the outlines again and the reason why I'm doing this is to deepen up the orange so I'm going to add the red layer first and then I'm going to go back over with the orange on top and this is going to create a deeper orange shade Um, obviously with it being in the center of my face I want to create some shadows and stuff like that and it's just going to deepen everything up and make it look a lot more um, darker. Yeah, I had a word that I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Um, so I'm just going around all the outlines again and then I'm going to go back over with the orange. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing. It's pretty simple, to be honest, um, breaking it down and letting you know what I'm doing. It is pretty simple um but you just have to take your time with it if anybody does recreate anything that i've got on my youtube channel please please tag me on instagram i'd honestly love to see what you come out with and let me know if you find my tutorials helpful and if there's anything that you'd like me to change or if you've got any looks that you want me to do in the future let me know and i'll give them a try i'm up to trying anything honestly um, from gore to glam to like anything literally I'll try it all so yeah and don't forget to subscribe too because I'm, I'm on a roll with my uploads and I, I've noticed that I've got a few new subscribers so thank you um, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking my black snazaru face paint and I'm filling in the bits that we've been leaving so it's like the ripped mouth bits i'm just quickly filling all that in the big eye and the nose i was going to do the spikes um but i left in i went in with eyeshadow instead but that's all i'm doing here and then in about a couple of minutes not even that i'm gonna add a lot more detail within the 
uh, like the the bits that I've filled in. Yeah. Why can't I speak? Oh my god. Right, so <laughs> I'm gonna add a lot more detail soon. And all I do for this is I'm just using the tip of my paintbrush and I'm dragging it down to create like spikes kind of. So it looks a lot more creepy. There you can see me doing it now. I'm just dragging it down and making it look a lot more detailed. Just adding little spikes and that's all I'm doing again. Oh, I'm adding the pumpkin-y bit. I like this bit. So this bit, I was dragging down the lines. So this is like when you get a pumpkin and it's got all of the texture. This is what I was creating here. So I went in using my black face paint first and I'm just drawing them lines, but I'm connecting them to the rips on my face. So where like the pumpkin teeth are, I'm connecting it to them and that's what I'm working off so yeah and then you can see me adding all my little spikes and stuff but yeah i'll be back in a minute when i'm doing something else again Now I'm going in with my yellow face paint again and this is going to create highlights within the look so I'm just adding it in between the mouth and it's just gonna make it pop a little bit more kind of yeah but that's all I'm doing I'm just going around my face with the yellow to add some highlights and now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow and I'm doing the edge of the jaggedy bit so I'm just going all the way around the templates and I'm dragging it down into places where I feel like it needs dragging down. Um, yeah, I'll just let you watch. you can see here I'm taking the tip of the brush and I'm using the excess powder to create little cracks on my face oh my god why does my tutorial go so quick so now I'm adding the highlights in the chest part so this is our little pumpkin bit where it like gives the appearance of a pumpkin and the reason why I'm doing this is because as I said earlier a pumpkin is an all one shade orange so you want to add as much texture as you can so doing this is going to do that and then uh, I'm going back in I'm doing the same thing on my face I'll, I hate when I jump around like that does my head in um so yeah I'm going on my chest and I'm just adding random lines just streaking them everywhere and then I'm also going to go in with the red snazaroo face paint as well and do the exact same thing and then once I've done this and I'm happy with it I'm going to be taking the orange face paint and I'm going to be blending it in right on the edges just to blend it all together um so that like obviously it blends back into orange and then you don't see any of them harsh lines so there you can see me doing that now i'm just going back over smoothing it out but it's still leaving a little bit of texture there you can see it a lot more in person than you can on the camera um but i still feel like you can see it a little bit on the camera and now I'm going in with my black eyeshadow and I'm just going over the black face paint lines that we've done earlier on and this is going to add some like smokiness to it and it's going to give it a lot more depth too um, so I'm doing this on every single line I'm just taking the black eyeshadow on a fluffy brush and dragging it all the way down
you're probably glad to hear but then this is our final step so what i'm doing is taking the orange face paint again and i'm just blending all the edges so that it's a lot more seamless and you can't see as much texture and it all blends in together lovely and that's literally the last step of our look so yeah that's our pumpkin halloween makeup look complete if you've made it this far i really really appreciate it please comment a pumpkin emoji down below so i can see who has made it this far and a massive thank you for everyone who's watched and i'll see you all in my next video bye